Good afternoon, Doc, and to my classmates. For Chapter 9, Enterprise Applications, Achieving Operational Excellence and Customer Intimacy. I will be reporting the Part 1, the Enterprise System and the Supply Chain Management. The Enterprise System. Enterprise Systems, also known as the Enterprise Resource Planning or the ERP, which are based on a suite of integrated software modules and a common central database. The Enterprise Resource Planning refers to a centralized system meant to integrate the resources, information, and day-to-day -day business activity of a company with a shared common database. Real-time data visibility provides a single source of information for company stakeholders. An ERP software package unites, standardizes, and streamlines core business management functions into a single solution, eliminating the departmental silos, duplicate work, and improving workflows. When considering the implementation of an ERP system, it is important to understand the basics and potential benefits. How Enterprise System Work The database collects data from many different divisions and departments in a firm and from a large number of key business processes, making the data available for the applications that support nearly all of an organization's internal business activities. When new information is entered by one process, the information is made immediately available to other business processes. So in figure 9.1 on the table, the enterprise systems feature a set of integrated software modules and a central database that enables data to be shared by many different business processes and functional areas throughout the enterprise. So, if a sales representative places an order for tire rims, for example, the system verifies the customer's credit limit, schedules the shipment, and identifies the best shipping route and reserved their necessary items from inventory. If inventory stock were insufficient to fill the order, the system schedules the manufacture of more rims, ordering the needed materials and components from suppliers. The sales and production forecasts are immediately updated. General ledger and corporate cash levels are automatically updated with the revenue and cost information from the order. Users could tap into the system and find out where that particular order was at at any minute. What are the benefits of an enterprise system? It increases the efficiency and productivity. It improves data integrity and security to reduce the risks. Delivers interactive reporting and forecasting. Provides improved business insight with real-time visibility. It lowers management at operational expenses. It supports company and product line growth. It enables data-driven business decisions. And through enterprise system, management could obtain information at any point in time about how the business was operating. The system could also generate the enterprise-wide data for the management analysis of the product costs and 
profitability. For the next slide, let's watch a short video explaining what is an enterprise system. So what is ERP? And how can it help your business? ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Companies have relied on it since the 90s to streamline processes and improve data visibility around finance, project management, and manufacturing. However, the cost of ownership began to climb significantly, and on-premise ERP couldn't keep up with modern security demands or technology trends. So, ERP evolved to embrace the internet with new features and functionality. Enter ERP Cloud. The cloud offers a more affordable alternative for ERP because it eliminates the need for software and hardware or additional IT staff. ERP Cloud enables organizations of all sizes and across all industries to make significant cost savings, improve business insight, enhance collaboration, and increase efficiency. Oracle ERP Cloud is built for the digital age, delivering on the promise of the end-to-end -end process, visibility, and speed, all at a lower cost. The Enterprise Software Enterprise Software, also known as the Enterprise Application Software, is a computer software used to satisfy the needs of an organization rather than the individual users. Such organizations include businesses, schools, interest-based users of the groups, clubs, charities, and government. Enterprise software is an integral part of a computer-based system. It is a collection of such software called an enterprise system. The system handle a chunk of operations in an organization to enhance the business and management reporting tasks. The systems must process the information at a relatively high speed and can be deployed across a variety of networks. And as definition, the enterprise software also as a collection of computer programs that have common business applications, tools for modeling how the entire organization works, and development tools for building applications unique to the organization. It performs business functions such as the order processing, procurement, production scheduling, customer information management, energy management, and accounting. It is typically hosted on servers and provides simultaneous services to many users, typically over a computer network. The enterprise software is built around thousands of predefined business processes that reflect best practices. The table above describes some of major business processes, which includes financial and accounting processes, human resource processes, manufacturing and production processes, sales and marketing processes. Companies implementing this software would have to first select the functions of the system they wish to use and then map their business processes to the predefined business processes in the software. A firm would use a configuration tables provided by the software manufacturer to tailor a particular aspect of the system to the way it does the business. For example, a firm could use these tables to select whether it wants to track revenue by product line, geographical unit, or distribution channel.
leading enterprise software vendors include SAP, Oracle, IBM, Infor Global Solutions, and Microsoft. These are versions of enterprise software packages designed for small and medium-sized businesses and on-demand versions, including software services running in the cloud. So for the next slide, here's an Oracle as an example. Enterprise resource planning systems are the essential backbone of every corporation around the world. They pull together all aspects of your business, financials and accounting, projects, human resources, customer experiences, and supply chains to give you a comprehensive and accurate view of your business. Picking the right ERP system is a core element of every IT strategy, and choosing the right vendor and partner is essential. Most ERP systems in use today were designed for on-premises deployment with lots of customizations to make them fit your requirements. But that's a real problem because once that custom code is in place, your ERP system can't evolve at the pace your business needs. This is why we created Oracle Fusion Cloud ERP, redesigned from the ground up for the cloud. It seamlessly connects all your critical business processes and allows you to rapidly adapt to today's business challenges since we provide you with continuous innovation updates. It's fundamentally different than simply hosting an on-premises ERP system in the cloud. It intelligently automates labor-intensive tasks such as expense reporting, managing projects, cash, risk and compliance, or accelerating the period close, reducing the time you spend gathering, reconciling, and validating data. It helps you identify patterns and anomalies using machine learning and suggests your next best course of action so you can focus on running your business and managing exceptions. Pre-built or custom dashboards pull data from across the company, giving you a comprehensive view of your finance and operations in real time. The best part? Complete confidence that change will never outpace you, since we take care of keeping you up to date with innovations delivered every 90 days. Gone are the days of massive, unpredictable ERP implementations. We'll help you get up and running in weeks or months instead of years. See how Oracle Fusion Cloud ERP can help your company keep pace with change through continuous innovation. Enterprise systems provide value both by increasing the operational efficiency and by providing firm-wide information to help the managers make better decisions. Large companies with many operating units in different locations have used enterprise systems to enforce standard practices and data so that everyone does business the same way worldwide. Enterprise systems help firms respond rapidly to customer requests for information or products. Because the system integrates the order, manufacturing, and delivery data, manufacturing is better informed about producing only what customers have ordered, procuring exactly the right number of components or raw materials to fill actual orders staging the production, and minimizing the time that components or finished products are in inventory. Enterprise systems provide such valuable information for improving the management decision making. Corporate headquarters has access to the up-to-the-minute data on sales, inventory, and production and uses this information to create more accurate sales and production forecasts. Also in enterprise software, it includes the analytical tools for using data captured by the system to evaluate the overall organizational performance. Enterprise system data have common standardized definitions and formats that are accepted by the entire organization. Performance figures mean the same thing across the company. The enterprise systems 
allows senior management to easily find out at any moment how a particular organizational unit is performing, determine which products are most or least profitable, and calculate cost for the company as a whole. For these slides, we'll have Alcoa Aluminum Company as an example. Alcoa, the world's leading producer of aluminum and aluminum products with operations spanning 31 countries and over 200 locations, had initially been organized around lines of business, each of which had its own set of information systems. Many of these systems were redundant and inefficient. Alcoa's cost for executing requisition to pay and financial processes were much higher and its cycle times were longer than those of other companies in its industry. After implementing enterprise software from Oracle, Alcoa eliminated many redundant processes and systems. The enterprise system of Oracle helped the Alcoa reduce requisition to pay cycle time by verifying receipt of goods and automatically generating receipts for payment. Alcoa's accounts payable transaction processing dropped 89%. Alcoa was able to centralize financial and procurement activities, which helped the company reduce nearly 20% of its worldwide cost. Supply chain. A firm's supply chain is a network of organizations and business processes for procuring raw materials, transforming these materials into intermediate and finished products, and distributing the finished products to customers. It links suppliers, manufacturing plants, distribution centers, retail outlets, and customers to supply goods and services from source through consumption. Materials, information, and payments flow through the supply chain in both directions. Goods start out as a raw materials, and as they move through the supply chain, they are transformed into intermediate and finally into a finished products. The finished products are shipped to the distribution centers and from there to the retailers and to the customers. Returned items flow in the reverse direction from the buyer back to the seller. What is supply chain management? Supply chain management is the management of the flow of goods and services and includes all processes that transform raw materials into final products. It involves the active streamlining of a business supply side activities to maximize customer value and gain a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Supply chain management is the practice of coordinating the various activities necessary to produce and deliver goods and services to a business customers. Examples of supply chain activities include designing, manufacturing, packaging, or transporting. Why is supply chain management important? Supply chain management is important because it can help achieve several business objectives. For instance, controlling manufacturing processes can improve product quality, 
reducing the risk of recalls and lawsuits, while helping to build a strong consumer brand. At the same time, it controls over shipping procedures and can improve customer service by avoiding costly shortages or periods of inventory oversupply. Overall, supply chain management provides several opportunities for companies to improve their profit margins and is especially important for companies with large operations. Let's watch a short video defining the supply chain management. One recurring problem in supply chain management is the bullwhip effect, in which information about the demand for a product gets distorted as it passes from one entity to the next across the supply chain. A slight rise in demand for an item might cause different members in the supply chain, such as the distributors, manufacturers, suppliers, secondary suppliers, and tertiary suppliers to stockpile inventory, so each has enough just in case. These changes ripple throughout the supply chain, magnifying what started out as a small change from planned orders, creating excess inventory, production, warehousing, and shipping costs. So in figure 9.3, the inaccurate information can cause minor fluctuations in demand for a product to be amplified as one moves further back in the supply chain. The minor fluctuations in retail sales for a product can create excess inventory for distributors, manufacturers, and suppliers. The blue whip effect is stemmed by reducing uncertainties about demand and supply when all members of the supply chain have accurate and up-to-date information. If all supply chain members share dynamic information about inventory levels, schedules, forecasts, and shipments, they have more precise knowledge about how to adjust their sourcing manufacturing, and distribution plans. Supply chain management systems provide the kind of information that helps the members of the supply chain to make better purchasing and scheduling decisions. Supply chain software is classified as either software to help businesses plan their supply chains or software to
to help them execute the supply chain steps. So for the supply chain planning systems, it enables the firm to model its existing supply chain, generate demand forecast for the products, and develop optimal sourcing and manufacturing plans. Such systems help companies to make better decisions, such as determining how much of a specific product to manufacture in a given time period, establishing inventory levels for raw materials, intermediate products, and finished goods, and determining where to store the finished goods and identifying the transportation mode to use for product delivery. And in supply chain execution systems, manage the flow of the products through distribution centers and warehouses to ensure that the products are delivered to the right locations in the most efficient manner. They track the physical status of goods, the management of materials, warehouse and transportation operations, and financial information involving all parties. As an example is the system used by Howard Incorporated. So the Howard Incorporated is a world leading manufacturer and designer of the office furniture with the distribution centers in four different states. The system tracks and controls the flow of the finished goods from the Howard's distribution centers to its customers. Acting on the shipping plans for customer orders, the system directs the movement of goods based on the immediate conditions for space, equipment, inventory, and personnel. For the next slide, let's watch a short video about the supply chain management software. Summary and additional notes. Enterprise systems refers to a centralized and comprehensive system meant to integrate the resources, information, and day-to-day -day business activity of a company. The enterprise system helps businesses achieve operational excellence. Enterprise system support organizational centralization by enforcing uniform data standards and business processes throughout the company and a single unified technology platform. The data generated by the enterprise system help the managers and the company to evaluate the organizational performance. 
So supply chain management. It is the management of the flow of goods and services and includes all processes that transform raw materials into a final products. In the supply chain management system, it organizes planning, production, and the logistic with the suppliers. Supply chain management systems automate the flow of information among members of the supply chain so that they can use it to make better decisions about when and how to purchase to produce or to ship. Thank you. That's all for today. So for the second part, it will be discussed by um, Mom Tricia Santa Barbara.